A planetary nebula represents one of the final stages in the life of a star, like our own Sun. Near the end of its life, before it consumes all of its remaining fuel, a star expels its outer layers. These are then excited by the radiation of the star and begin to glow brightly, showing intricate and fascinating structures that scientists are still trying to fully understand. Hi and welcome to the Hubblecast. Now in previous episodes we've looked at a lot of Hubble's images of planetary nebulae and we've talked about how they tell us about the ultimate fate of our own Sun. Now in this episode we're going to take a closer look at just one of these, a planetary nebula that, unlike many others, does not in fact look anything like a planet. Known by its catalogue number NGC 5189 this planetary nebula might not sound very exciting. When it was discovered in the 19th century, the telescopes of the day could barely make out any structure. But advances in telescope technology over a century and a half have borne fruit. For a long time, the best image of this object was from the European Southern Observatory's NTT, which reveals NGC 5189's complex spiral shape. Then came a remarkable picture from the 8-metre Gemini South Telescope. But if you point Hubble at it... Well, if you point Hubble at it, then you get to see some truly spectacular detail, much of which has never been seen before. And that's, of course, due to Hubble's unique vantage point above the Earth's atmosphere. Now, if we zoom in close, which we can thanks to Hubble's high resolution, then we start seeing these very dense knots in the clouds of gas. Hubble has seen these before, most famously in the Helix Nebula. Now, what's going on here is that the radiation from the dying star is carving these knots into shape, forming these glowing, bow-wave-like patterns, much like water flowing around a rock in a stream. And these are all pointing towards the center of the nebula. The knots in NGC 5189 are a reminder of just how big planetary nebulae are. They might look insignificant here, but they are actually a similar size to the entire solar system. The star at the center of the nebula, a dense white dwarf, is far too small to see as anything other than a point of light, even though it is roughly the size of the Earth. NGC 5189's spiral shape is perhaps its most obvious feature, leading to its nickname of the Spiral Planetary Nebula. The structure is reminiscent of water coming from a lawn sprinkler, and is probably due to the star rotating and wobbling as it expels matter. Similar structures have been seen before, especially in planetary nebulae with binary stars at their centers. But whether there are two stars or just the one at the center of NGC 5189 remains an open question. And so its shape and the science that lies behind it remain a fascinating area for astronomers to study. This is Dr. J. Signing off for the Hubblecast. Once again, nature surprised us beyond our wildest imagination.
Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.